Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're going to talk about the unreleased Pals in Power World. I'm going to show you a close up, I'm going to tell you their stats, I'm going to tell you their partner ability, and a lot more with that. We are also going to go over some information about a new Power World scam going around, as well as Helldivers 2 and a bunch of other games. Someone out there is trying to pretend to be Pocket Pair or one of the developers over at Helldivers 2. We're going to get into this information today, so with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Let's begin by talking about the first unreleased PAL, which is going to be Boltman. The description for this PAL is right here, and it says, The more it moves, the more it heats up, and the hair tips increasingly glow brighter. At its peak, it becomes dazzling that you risk blindness if you stare at it directly. What's surprising about this PAL specifically is that it does have that ember glow to it, right? But it's actually a lightning type, which is surprising. The partner ability for Bolt Main is going to be Ride. Now, this could change over time, but I would assume this will be a mount. Let me know what you think about this PAL down below in the comment section. This PAL is one of my favorites, mainly because of how it looks i'm not too sure if it's the best in terms of power wise but i will have some clips later on in this video so that you can check that out and see how they do perform in battle Alrighty, coming up at number two we have the next pal which is going to be called dragostrophy the description for this pal is right here and it says a silent beast born of the abyss thou shalt not stand before the beast and thou shalt not heed the beast one of the interesting things about this pal right here is that it's pretty massive when it comes down to size comparison and I will show you the comparison between my character and this pal. When it comes down to capturing this pal, I'm going to assume it's going to be a tough cookie to buy it through and by that I mean it's going to be hard to capture or possibly even to defeat. But it's going to be a great challenge and I cannot wait. So you're probably thinking, what's the partner skill for this pal? Is there even one? Yes, there absolutely is, and it's right here on the screen. The partner skill can be found at the top right here, and it says the Black Winged Shooter. Now I wonder what exactly this tack is going to be. I mean, it sounds quite obvious that it's going to be with the wings, but is it going to be some sort of massive attack? Let me know what you think about this pal down below in the comments section, as well as let me know what your favorite pal is on the unreleased pal list. If it's not on the list in today's video, let me know down below. And last but not least, on the unreleased pal list, we have Dark Mutant. Now, unfortunately, with this pal, it has received some hate from some people out here that are saying, you know, this is a direct ripoff of Mewtwo, which I'll be honest, I'm not too sure if I really see it as much as you guys may see it. So let me know if you think this is a direct Mewtwo ripoff. I, I don't think so anyways. Moving along, Dark Mutant's description is right here, and it says, Some say a beam from a Dark Mutant that has perfected its technique can tear holes into other dimensions. It's even believed that certain species of pals were born from such a phenomenon. So yeah, there you go. This pal right here can rip through dimensions. On top of that, some are believing that that's how some species were brought into Power World. Which I suppose makes sense, right? Is this where all the dark type come from? I mean, is that where the Noct or Nocturnal type of pals were brought into the world? Was it from this fella right here? I'm interested in your thoughts on this matter. And the partner ability for Dark Mutant is called Telekey Explosion, which sounds massive. It sounds like it's going to cause a lot of damage. So we'll see how that goes when this pal is released. I will show more about that when the time does come. And this is pretty much it when it comes down to the pals. This is all that I can show, the unreleased pals anyways. There are some other pals that are unreleased, but they're not in the game files. So again, I just cannot show you more about that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and continue on and talk about the Power World copycat scam going around. Let's take a look at this first screenshot, which is by a Reddit user named Maximum Quartermain, and this is over on the official Power World Reddit. You can tell at the top it says right here, um, dot dot dot, I think someone's lying. And if you take a look at the middle here, there's two different Power Worlds. There is one that's for literally $2.49. And then there's the other one for $29.99. So what the heck is going on here? Is there another Power World or is someone trying to scam? It's quite obvious someone out here is trying to scam. And that is exactly what's going on as of right now. Now there is some good news because this has since been removed. So someone out there that was trying to do this 
is no longer able to do so. Steam has taken the appropriate action by removing this, as well as removing Helldivers 2, which was another copycat. So not only did one person try to scam a bunch of people out on Power World copycat, there was another user who created another version of Helldivers 2, quote unquote, and they're saying, you know, hey, you can buy it for this cheap price, blah, 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 on Steam, and it's not by the actual developers, it's just by some scammer. There is some more information about this because this Reddit user by the name of Equivalent Thoughts 53 had this to say. Actually, pretty quick Steam support response, which I have below, but if they are relying on people flagging these games to get their attention and don't have some type of detection system for this, I think it exposes a bigger issue. And then if you take a look down below, this is what this Reddit user also included, which is a basically a response from one of the Steam support members. And it says right here, Hi, thank you for bringing our attention and providing us with the screenshots. We understand your concern. Please use our official reporting feature on the game store page by using the button with the flag icon, which can be found on the right hand side of their page next to the share and embed buttons. We use these reports to investigate problems or abuse with games and take action when appropriate. However, support does not provide updates or info on the outcome. Please let me know if I can help clarify anything else. Steam support and so on, the name. Uh, so yeah, it's confusing right now. They're not going to really take your input if you send it to them. But if you use the report option, it's a complete different scenario. Uh, I don't know, that seems confusing. Because you would imagine they would take this person's word, look into the matter, and then just remove it. But not like, okay, let's wait for them to report it. So there is also something else that a Reddit member had posted within this post. And it's right here, and it's about something else that you should look out for. We can tell on the screen here, there is a user named Spedwords, and this is what he had to say. There's something really sketchy about B-Side Studios, or whatever they're called. All their game released on the 4th of November, or a week later on the 11th. All have a price of $75. On the 6th of February, they changed B-Side Studios from Bazzy. They changed the Bazzy name from Soul On Board Studio on the 12th of December which is what it was initially created as on the 4th of November. Yeah, things are getting a little out of hand over here, but it has been removed as well as Helldivers 2 copycat clone or whatever you want to call it. It wasn't an exact clone, but it's just one of those things where they're pretended to be the developers posting the same exact images and all that stuff. But all that stuff has been removed, as I mentioned earlier. But when it comes down to this stuff, you really have to keep an eye out on what you're purchasing on Steam. It seems odd. How are they able to do this stuff? I couldn't tell you, but I will let you guys know that this right here is something that you need to look out for. The reason why I say keep an eye out for this is because most of it might just be AI generated because this username Azoth had this to say. If you check their pages, they are all incredibly simply low quality games with AI generated positive reviews using the same 20 Steam accounts in all of them. It is getting insane, and with AI in general as well, and don't get me wrong, I think AI can actually help out quite a lot, but it can probably cause some concern as well. And this is just a small example of concerns, but it's going to get crazy as time goes on and how people are going to manipulate certain things using AI. Overall, what you need to do is take a look at what you're downloading before you do so, Take a look at SteamDB first before actually downloading it, especially if you're concerned about it and you think it might be a scam. Typically what can happen is if you head over towards Steam, it will tell you who the true developer is. For example, if you compare Pocket Pair SteamDB and the SteamDB version of the scammer, you will be able to tell that it says Pocket Pair at the top and the other one may say something completely useless. useless and I just won't even bother throwing it in this uh, in this video, but pretty much just watch out for that stuff. For example, if you take a look at the top left here, you can see that that is definitely not the developer's name for Helldivers 2. And if you take a look at the PAL World one at the top left on SteamDB, that is not the developer's either, because Pocket Pair is definitely not called Stolen Mushrooms, which that is a, a hilarious name, by the way. Uh, and then if you take a look at the right, it says one in-game. So I wonder, did someone out here actually purchase the fake copy? Yikes. So that is what you need to look out for when it comes down to downloading these games. 
So this is pretty much it when it comes down to the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. If you have, give it a like, subscribe, and turn those notifications on as well. Especially if you are a frequent stopper. If you frequently stop by this channel, but you're not subscribed, do that now. It's completely free, as well as turning on the notifications as well. If you have any questions about today's video, whether it be the unreleased pals or the scam issue, you can comment down below. You can also even comment anything about glitch related as well in a previous video because I will try to respond back as soon as possible. You can do this in the comment section, you can follow me on Twitter, or you can head over towards the Discord as well and join up. With all that being said, thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I will see you all in the next one.